Down a, down a vow is a fresh start. <laughs> How are you going over there, Curly? Old, old darling? It'll take more than a decade-long recitation of old rhetoric to win the next election for you. Mr Speaker, it was not by accident that the Liberal Party passed over John Howard when John Hewson lost the last election. Mr Speaker, this is the man who left behind, after seven years of opportunity, a moribund, inward-looking industrial graveyard. An inward-looking oh, no, industrial no, graveyard. A low growth, low investment, low profit, high inflation, high interest rates, high unemployment, high tariff country. And nobody can deny any one of those claims. Low growth, you average less than 2%. Low investment, low profits, 11% inflation, 22% interest rates at their peak, high unemployment, 10.5% and high and growing tariffs. And on top of all that, undeniable, undeniable, and on top of all that, an unproductive, inward-looking economy. The Australian economy today is 40 per cent more competitive than when he was in office. And I'll tell you what else he left behind, Mr Speaker, a criminal tax avoidance system, a criminally evaded tax base. When I became Treasurer, he was like a man reborn. He sat on the opposition benches to thank God somebody else could inherit the problem and do something with it. And here it is after 12 years of change, 12 years that have made us now the fastest growing economy oh, yeah. in the Western world with the lowest inflation rate on that combination. 12 years later, he brings his miserable political oh, carpets nah. back to the front bench of the Australian Parliament. Limp. Here he is politically limping in like the Bishop of Autun, the Talleyrand of the Liberal Party, <laughs> scraping his way back into Australian history, seeking to put his miserable politics. Mr Speaker, what possible use in the modern Australia of the country joining the world of its region for the first time in its history, of becoming an outward-looking country, of getting its low inflation and its high productivity. What possible use could it have for a man who described himself as the most conservative leader the Liberal Party has ever had? Yeah.